A few weeks ago, one of my subscribers used their telescope to capture this stunning image of Jupiter. It's truly remarkable that fairly affordable instruments can capture images like this one. If after seeing this picture, something inside you starts saying that you should see Jupiter as well, then you're in luck. During the next couple of days, Jupiter will come to its closest point to Earth than any other time of the year, which means that it will be in opposition. Therefore, carry on watching this video if you want to find out how to see the opposition of the largest planet in the solar system, even if you don't have a telescope. I promise, will be very interesting. Ooh, ooh. Hi there, Mikhailo is here. So what exactly happens during opposition? It's a very interesting celestial alignment when Earth, Jupiter and the Sun form a straight line. This puts Jupiter at its closest point to Earth, making it appear larger and brighter in our night sky all night long. Therefore, it's the perfect time to observe and appreciate the gas giant in all its glory. The precise date of the opposition is November 3rd, but Jupiter will be almost perfectly visible for a few weeks before and after this date, so you should start your observations right now. Now, where is Jupiter visible? literally everywhere. No matter where you are on Earth at this time, the largest planet of the solar system can be found in the night sky everywhere. Simply look toward the eastern, northeastern part of the sky soon after the sunset. Jupiter will be seen as a very bright star-looking dot in the sky. It will then travel across the sky, going high in the southern part around midnight and then moving westward just before sunrise. Because Jupiter gets really high in the sky and it's visible throughout all night, November 2023 is the best month to see Jupiter. By the way, observing Jupiter when it's high in the sky provides clearer and more detailed views due to reduced atmospheric interference and less light pollution. Therefore, it's better to hold off on observing until Jupiter is positioned higher in the evening sky. If you're still unsure how to find Jupiter in the night sky, you can always utilize free night sky maps that are available on Google Play and Apple Store. Uh, the names of these apps you can see right now on your screens. My personal favorite is a PC version of Stellarium since it's an extremely simple tool to use. Just click on the link in the description, download the free app, open it specify your location and the time of your observations, and then start your search for Jupiter. Bro, you're so good. To make the most out of Jupiter's opposition, you will of course need the right equipment, but honestly utilizing even a small telescope or a pair of binoculars will allow you to discern the most interesting features of the planet. The increased brightness and clarity allow you to witness the stunning cloud bands and the alternating light and dark areas parallel to the equator. One of the really famous things you see in Jupiter's clouds is its big storms, like the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is the largest storm in the solar system that's been going on for hundreds of years, and it's so huge that it could swallow up our planet without a problem. Astronomers have been watching the Great Red Spot for a long time, and it seems that it's slowly getting smaller. Some scientists even say that it may eventually disappear or turn into some other kind of storm. Therefore, don't miss your chance to see this gigantic phenomenon that one day may completely fade away. Also, small telescopes are able to show you Jupiter's four largest moons, known as the Galilean moons, appearing as tiny points of light near the planet. These four celestial companions, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, perform some kind of dance around the gas giant. With their ever-changing positions, you can witness them transit Jupiter, go behind its disk, or line up on two sides of the planet. For those lucky peeps who have large instruments, there are even more options for what you can see on Jupiter, including dynamic atmospheric phenomena such as turbulent cloud formations, storms, and the change in appearance of its cloud belts over time. Sure, but what if you're interested in taking pictures of Jupiter? For this, there is a variety of options that you have. 
You can try simply putting your camera to the telescope eyepiece, although this can be somewhat cumbersome as it might be challenging to keep the planet in view. Alternatively, you have the option of purchasing a phone adapter to securely attach your phone to the eyepiece. The most efficient method is probably to get a specialized astrophotography camera or a DSLR camera since they will allow you to take really good pictures. Even if you happen not to have an optical instrument, seeing Jupiter with the unaided eye is also a cool thing to do. You can always point it out and say to the others, see that brilliant object in the night sky? It's not just a star, but a planet known as Jupiter. And then they'll be like, bro, that's so cool. What is your zodiac sign? Jupiter's opposition is a celestial event you won't want to miss. It's a chance to witness the largest planet in our solar system in all its glory. So grab your telescopes or binoculars, head to a dark spot and make the most out of this event. I hope that this video was informative for you and if you want to know more stuff about upcoming astronomical events, and there's gonna be a lot of them, then please consider subscribing. And as always, Thank you for watching very interesting videos, bye.